Motivation isn't real. Everyone says this. Motivation is not real. Discipline is real. I do not feel like training, but I still train because I'm a disciplined individual. You don't get to go through life only doing the things you feel like doing. So this is down to you, my friend. And listen, you may be feel fired up for 10 minutes after this little talk, but you're not going to feel fired up forever. You need to put systems in place. You need to get disciplined. You need to get an atmosphere of people around you who are going to keep you accountable and not make it easy for you to continue to be a fucking nobody. And then you're going to fix your life. Otherwise, you're going to stay a nobody. You're tired. You don't want to work. You want to go to sleep and just relax. You do it fucking anyway. That is the most basic imperative of the masculine frame, which has been destroyed in real time. They are trying to convince you that you should act how you feel. You should show more of your feelings. If you feel this way, you should show it. If you want to cry, cry. But what I'm saying is the reason they're trying to bring out emotionality in you is because of exactly what Myron said. Most of the time, you don't feel like doing the things you're supposed to do. But the true masculine frame throughout history was doing the things they didn't want to do, but they knew they had to do because they had honor and duty. That's what honor and duty means. Do you think the men on the Titanic wanted to stay on the fucking Titanic? No, we're men. We have to stay. We're scared, but we must. It's our duty to let the women and children on the lifeboats. This is masculine duty. A good man controls himself. I have absolute self-control. Emotional control is absolutely and utterly important as a man. I'm saying that you need to understand as a man, there are certain principles under which you act regardless of how you feel. I can wake up in a terrible mood. I can wake up sad. I can ache. I can have a, a busy day, stressed, etc. I will complete the same tasks as if I woke up in a fantastic mood. I'll do the same things because how I feel has no bearing on the things I'm going to do with my day because I have duty to myself and to my bloodline. Because you think there's something wrong with you. You go, I don't, I lack motivation. I don't have the motivation to go to the gym. Well, here's the news flash. Neither did I. And I still did it. So now what are you going to say? Now you have no excuse, right? Oh, you're scared to get in the ring. So was I. Still did it. Scared to get in the cage. So was I. I still did it. Being a man is about not feeling things. It's about acting the way you're supposed to act regardless of how you feel. We act. We're men of action. We get things done. So the world got built. All of it. All the men who built the skyscrapers felt scared. They did it anyway. You need to become a man of action. Don't worry about how you feel. Don't worry about what you're supposed to be doing. How about that? I've, I've always been disciplined myself because I've always lived a disciplined life. I lived in a disciplined household like there was no such thing as I don't want to. So even now if I wake up and I don't want to do something, I don't need someone to tell me to do it because I'll do it anyway. I mean, who likes to run a marathon? Nobody. Who wants to do that? You just do it, don't you? Because, you know, it's the like thing you're going to have to do when you have to blood, sweat, tears. There is a version of the world where you can feel things and really not give a fuck how it is. Like, I, I can, I, if I feel sad, it does not change how I act, and it does not change the things I do. If I don't feel like going to the gym, I go to the gym. If I don't feel like working, I will still work. If I wake up in a happy mood, and I have a business to run, if I wake up in a sad mood, I have the same shit to do. I'm gonna get it done. So, where's the importance of it? It's in my mind, that's how I view it. Like. How does that affect what I'm going to do? Well, nothing. It doesn't. Motivation in, in and of itself is a scam. I don't believe in motivation. I believe in this. I am not motivated to do the things I'm supposed to do. I don't wake up full of, like, joy. I have to go to the gym or that I have to work or I'm dealing with crap. I don't feel motivated to do them. I'm disciplined. I do them regardless of how I feel. Whether I'm in the mood to do it or I'm not in the mood to do it, it gets done. That's just... Discipline's a real thing. Motivation is fleeting. You're never going to be perfectly motivated. You're the kind of person who can only try hard at something he enjoys, then you're going to fail. If you truly want to win, you can't only want to win when you're happy. You can't only want to win when you're motivated. You're competing against men like me who will perform even when it is raining, not only when the sun is shining. And if you're going to be the kind of person who can only do it, one of those scenarios you are going to lose. You must be prepared to perform all of the time. I have a lot of people who message me and say, oh, I struggle with motivation. And my answer is simple. Then stay a loser. If you can't, find the motivation to not be a loser, then I strongly recommend you just stay a loser, stay in your lane, and stay out of my way. I have no time for people who cannot find the motivation to fix themselves and fix their own lives. 
I've been the kind of person who will perform seven days a week. Doesn't matter how I feel, doesn't matter what's happened, doesn't matter if I'm happy or sad, things must be done. And this is the mindset you need to adopt if you want to be a winner. I think a man should have absolutely no interest in whether he's actually happy or not. If I wake up and I'm unhappy, I will do the exact same things as if I am. I will go to the gym the same. I will work the same. How I feel has no impact on how I live my life. I don't think happiness as an index is a healthy view for a man to have on life success. If you're waking up and going, oh, am I happy, am I not? You're looking at life wrong. I think of a man, if you put happiness far, if you move it down the scale, right? And you start looking at, am I successful? Am I competent? You know, am I achieving things? Am I respected? If you start to look at these indicators of your life, you're going to end up being happier without actually analyzing if you're happy or not. And that's just work. At some point you have to bite the bullet, just work. Working harder is never going to not help. No matter what scenario you're in, working harder is never going to not help. And it, it's amazing that I give different versions of the same answer for 99% of the questions I'm asked. Work harder. If you have a problem, whether you're broke, whether you're out of shape, whether your friend dies, whether your girl leaves you, whether you're depressed, whatever it is, working harder is almost always the answer. So you know what you need to do. You need to do it. And what's amazing, again, is kind of like the antidote. If you take the antidote before the poison, then you never get sick in the first place. If you're always working as hard as possible, if you're always working your ass off and trying to be the best version of yourself every single day, then you never get sick in the first place. You're already working, you're already taking the antidote. So things can't get can't attached to you, they can't get hold of you. Working hard is the antidote to everything, so why don't you just do it in advance? Why don't you use your life just become work like mine? Why don't you just dedicate yourself to a cause and get up and do what you're supposed to do every single day? I can't stand quitters. So if you're the kind of person who's gonna quit because it's hard, I don't even want your energy around me, right? You need the people who don't quit. I don't quit. Every single facet of my life is testament to the fact that I don't quit. I didn't quit. So that's the difference. When it was hard, I did it anyway. That's who I've always been. And if you don't have that kind of tenacity, you're never gonna be it. So I've been defeated. Do not give up. Do not get tired. I do not quit. That's what they want. That's what the enemy wants from me. They want to try and win a war of attrition. They want to wear me down and hope I quit and give up. I am not that guy. I'm not that guy. I'm the guy who keeps going. And if you're truly indefatigable in life and perspicacious, that's my favorite saying, the one I say all the time, unmatched perspicacity coupled with sheer indefatigability makes me a feared opponent in any realm of human endeavor. It's absolutely and utterly true. If you pay attention to the things that are happening around you and you do not quit, you will be a dangerous opponent in any realm of human endeavor. It doesn't matter what you try to do. I'm a man who lives true to God and says what he means and means what he says, and I know the things I say are good for society and good for the world. I didn't put a fucking magic spell on anybody. The reason people listen to me is because they like what I say and they know that I'm telling the truth. That's the reason I am here. I'm going to continue to do that. And there's nothing anybody can do about it.